Hi, everybody. We're back to the Bailey School Kids. Dragons don't throw snowballs. We're on chapter 11. 1-800-TREASURE. Why don't we just call 1-800-TREASURE, Eddie suggested. I'm serious, Lisa said. Melody turned her nose up at the burnt smell in the backyard. But we don't have any treasure to give a dragon. Even if we did have jewels and money, I'm not about to hand them over to a dragon with dandruff, Eddie said. Besides, Howie added, we're stranded at school. We can't go looking for treasure. Then we'll have to find our treasure at Bailey Elementary, Lisa said. Impossible, Eddie argued. Schools don't have treasure. They don't even have enough money to buy good stuff. Or pay teachers what they deserve, Howie added. Schools do have something, Lisa said. Then she told them her plan. You're nuts, Eddie said, shaking his head. Melanie and Howie looked doubtful as they crept back into the school, but they didn't have a better idea. So they went working, went to work during art class. They went from kid to kid. We're making a treasure box, Eddie lied. Do you want to contribute? Carrie bad her eyelashes at Eddie and gave him a pink plastic diamond ring. She talked her friends into putting in pencils, little books, photos, gel pens, and sticks of gum. Huey even had a piece of fool's gold in his pocket. Soon they had Lisa's pencil box filled. Eddie, Melody, Howie, and Lisa looked in the box. This is no treasure, Eddie said, picking up his mini book. Of course it is, Lisa said. You can do anything, go anywhere, or be anyone in a book. What about this, Melody asked, picking up a class picture. Mrs. Jeepers gave us this photo. She said all kids are treasures. Melody poked Eddie in the chest. Even you. What did you put in the box, Howie asked Lisa. Lisa held up a picture she had drawn of herself, Melody, Howie, and Eddie. This is our friendship, she said. There's nothing more important than that. Melody smiled. Howie petted Lisa on the shoulder, and Eddie blushed. But the dragon will think it's a treasure, Howie asked. Lisa shrugged. There's only one way to find out. That's chapter 11. I'll see you soon. I miss you guys, and I'll talk to you after a bit. I hope that you have a great day. And that, remember, keep on reading. Bye-bye. Well,